Hi everyone, we're back with another how-to video. My name is Maureen and I'm the Director of Research and Development. I've been with the company for over 11 years now and I'm very excited to talk to you all about lab sterilization. Today we'll be showing you how to properly sterilize your lab equipment and your lab bench area. We always start with alcohol, specifically a 70% solution of alcohol in water. It is important to sterilize all of your lab equipment and bench area because you want to avoid micro-contamination. You don't want to send a product out to customers that has any risk of contamination from any type of bugs or germs, such as mold, bacteria, things like that. So when you start with a clean space, that reduces your risk substantially. A lot of people might have questions about what to use to clean your bench space. Some people might use a towel, some people might use paper towels, some people could use chem wipes. We always recommend chem wipes because they won't leave a residue of any dust or lint on the bench. If you don't have these, that's fine. We then recommend a paper towel. So once you spray the bench, just wipe it down thoroughly with your paper towel and let it dry before you start. Before you start formulating and making any batches, you want to make sure that you're wearing appropriate personal protective equipment, or what we like to call PPE. So this includes things like gloves, your lab coat, and your safety glasses. After you get done spraying your bench area and making sure you have sterile beakers to use, you also wanna make sure that any lab equipment that's gonna to touch your batch is also sterilized. So things like stir bars, you wanna make sure that these are clean before you work with them. So these could be rinsed with soap and water, put in the dishwasher, whatever you have on hand. But once that's done being cleaned, you wanna spray it with alcohol and let it dry before using it in your batch. The same process goes for things like spatulas. So make sure that you spray those with alcohol to make sure that they're clean and dry before you use it in your batch, as well as mixers such as this. When you're working with glassware, you always wanna make sure that it's clean before you make your batch. If you have a dishwasher, that's great. You can put your beakers straight in the dishwasher and make sure that they're sterilized before use and dry. Before you start your batch, always spray it with alcohol. If you don't have a dishwasher, that's fine too. Just make sure you rinse it thoroughly with water, use Dawn dish soap, and make sure you rinse it out with water as well. Then to dry, you wanna spray it with alcohol and put it on a drying rack before use. Once you have your sterilized beaker dried and ready to go to make your batch, before you start and put any product in there, water, anything, you wanna make sure that you spray it with compressed air. That'll remove any dust particles or other things that might have floated in there after you sterilized it. So you would use an air compressor just like this, spray your beaker, and then start your batch. Once you're done sterilizing all of your lab equipment and before you start your batch, you always wanna make sure that you spray your PPE as well. So you would use your 70% alcohol solution and spray your gloves thoroughly. That way you make sure that you don't contaminate anything by touching the batch with your dirty gloves. When you're done making your batch, you always wanna make sure that you pull from it using a sterile syringe and a sterile micro cup. The sterile syringe looks like this. So you put it directly into the beaker and you pull up to get your sample out. But before you do that, you always wanna make sure that you spray your sterile syringe before even opening it with alcohol. Same goes for your sterile micro cup. Before you open it from its bag, you wanna make sure that you spray it so everything's clean and nothing gets contaminated when you go to touch your batch and plate it for micro. So with that, let's get started.
Thank you for watching our how-to video on lab sterilization. If you have any questions, please reach out to our sales team. Stay tuned for our next how-to video, and as always, happy formulating.